I was uh, feeling a little overwhelmed the last couple of weeks uh, when I started on this uh, saga, the Baby Rudin saga, uh, the project in which I will read. Uh, I was planning the first phase for it to be just the first seven chapters of Baby Rudin, but I like to finish what I start, and so I think, I think I'm going to try to do the whole thing. Uh, but when I was looking at, at uh, how much there is to read, uh, I just became overwhelmed, and so I figured there I had to draw some sort of a schedule. And this is what this video is about. There's no math in this video. It's just a schedule planning video. I'll make it as quick as possible. Now, uh, when I look at these books, it, uh, I think I think by the end of 2024, that gives me about uh, 14 more months, I'm hoping that I'll be able to read all of these books cover to cover. That is a lot of reading. I'm not sure that I'll make it, and it could be that I end up dropping uh, Thompson Bruckner Bruckner, what I fondly call TBB, so I'll just put it out here, uh, and then just fold these guys over, uh, and then show my little schedule, okay? So, so the way that I drew this was, I mean, the reason, of course, I already stated, but the way this is uh, laid out, actually, let me take all these books off camera, is... Um, let me zoom in a little on uh, on parts of it, just so you fo fine folks can see what I'm doing. And so what I what I think I'm going to do is just lay out uh, by month the chapters in each of this, these books that I want to complete. Uh, and then of course in each little cell, I have put in two cells. One, the first one is for when I finish reading that chapter. The second one is when I do all the problems that I thought I was going to do for it that chapter. Now, of course, TBB, uh, Thompson Bruckner Bruckner, could be the one that falls out. So it could be that this whole book, I check it out and say, okay, fine, I'll do the other ones. Uh, but definitely, of course, it's, it's called the Baby Rudin Project. So I want to see if I can do a chapter, read a chapter of Rudin all the way down to March of 2024. That gives me six months to do all the way to chapter eight. And then chapters 9, 10, and 11, I think if I do them every other month, it'll give me a lot of time. There's a lot of reading laid out here, but also a lot of problems. Uh, and so in the beginning of this project, which just got started, I've done a lot of reading. I put the, actually, I put the, what I've done so far at the very bottom down here. Yeah, so I've already read uh, the first chapter of TBB, the first chapter of Rudin, and the second chapter of Rudin. And the first two chapters of uh, Bartle and Sherbert, and the first chapter of, M of Mendelssohn, and I'm almost done reading uh, the second chapter. So, and then also I have this little box in here, in which I'm going to record, hopefully, God willing, after I finish reading each book. This will give me a good feel, for a good feeling for completing something. So I, I know completing something is very important in these uh, self-taught projects. Now I'm going to make these updates very rarely, once every three months. This is the first one, but it doesn't it doesn't line up on a quarter. I'm got, I'm calling it quarter three 2023, but it really should have been done October 1st, and I would have had something to show. But so really, the the first month of the month of October, the current month, is going to be a little crowded because I I've, I'm I'm finishing other things beyond these five chapters. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I know that there's plenty of slack in this schedule later in 2024. And also, the book that I have not mentioned before is uh, Monkers. And I'm, I'm going to end this very short video by, by telling you guys a, a story that I think I find interesting, which is, uh, I, I think what I tell myself is, be careful with the comments that are put out by various people on the internet. I mean, I always say to you all, I'm just some random dude, so you know, I have no authority. I'm just trying to enjoy uh, learning math, but I also have Spiebach's, uh book on uh, uh, th the one that ends up in Stokes, the Proof of Stokes Theorem, and it's really thin. And somebody on, on uh, in, uh, in Amazon said, oh, Munkers' book has too many words. Uh, I really like Spiebach because it's very brief. Well, for self-learning, I bought Spiebach first months ago when I was doing uh, Wade, and I would read it and go, this is just way too brief. I can't make head or tails what Speedback is talking about. 
And then recently I bought uh, Moncrus and I was like, yeah, okay, I can read this. I can read this. And so the plan getting back to this is this lane has Mendelssohn, which I hope to finish by Christmas, by the end of this year. Then Conway, which is very short, point set topology. And then Munkris. So this whole lane is that. And then Bardo and Sherbert, TVB, which may go out, I'm not sure. And Abbott, which may go out, I'm not sure either. So that is my uh, third quarter 2023 update. And these videos will be done. The next one will be at the end of 2023. It'll be on a three-month rotation.